In this video, we're going to dive into the COI and what I did in order to get insurance for a shoot I did at Google. Well, a couple months ago, I got an inquiry to go work at Google and cover an event for a friend of mine. Now, in order to do this, Google wanted that every person that was working there as a freelancer or company or so showed proof of insurance, which understandable. Now for me, I've been barely getting all these things together. I recently started to look into becoming an S-Corp, filed all that stuff, and I will definitely make a catch-up video on that, so stay tuned for that. Now for this event, they wanted me to show proof of general liability, employee liability, forgot what it was, let me check the notes. So Google wanted um, workers' compensation, statutory limit, employer's liability of 500,000, commercial general liability of 1 million per occurrence, and liquor liability if service included the serving of alcohol. I'd never been asked for all of this. Typically it'll be general liability or so, and typically I'm working under another production or an agency, so they kind of handle all of that. Now, make sure you stay tuned so you can actually learn how the COIs work. What I ended up doing, of course, I spent hours on Google to find uh, the right insurance and how I can get this. And I initially went to Athos, whom I have all my equipment insured by. And Athos gave me an insane quote. I wouldn't have even made money at this shoot uh, because they were giving me employee liability, general, um, all, the, all that stuff that they had asked for, right? So I couldn't believe it. I called them, I got a hold of them, I explained it, and they said that that's just how they work. So I went online and started looking at more options and I came across Thimble. Now Thimble is seems like a startup and I believe their extension uh, from another bigger insurance, I can't recall which one, there's so many of these, uh, but they tend to change their names when they're working with different sectors apparently. So Thimble was able to give me a $30 uh, of a cost for a general liability. And that's pretty much all I needed since it was just gonna be me, I was not gonna employ anyone so i wouldn't need employee coverage and i looked up this was hours of looking it up of chat gpt and everything to figure out if i actually needed uh, the employer liability it turns out if you are just a sole proprietor and you're not hiring anyone you're not bringing anyone but yourself you do not need that this is not financial advice. By all means, make sure you do your due diligence in your state and in your gig, whatever you're gonna be doing. But for my case, in my experience, I did not end up needing it. And uh, they got back to me and they said they needed it. So I told them, hey, it's just me. They got back to Google. In the end, it actually turned out they just had me fill out a waiver, waiving everything. But I was able to get a COI. Now, COIs is just a copy of insurance where you actually add the person. Now, COIs is actually the copy of insurance, certificate of insurance, I've heard it called many ways, and it just basically proves that somebody is covered. In this case, Google wanted to be covered under my insurance, so I paid, like I mentioned, Thimble, $30 or so for the coverage of the day of general liability, and I was able to add Google as somebody covered by that insurance. Now, I was covered, Google was covered, I think I might have paid like $5 more to add somebody. Typically, you don't pay anything if you've paid for like a whole year or so, and the COIs will be asked by production companies, it could be a big employee like Google per se, or even rental houses. When you're gonna pick up a rental gear, they're gonna ask you for a copy of insurance and make sure that that equipment is actually covered under your insurance. So COI, it is a big deal once you're starting to get into the bigger productions. One way around it is making sure you go into rep books. Now, I am not fully delved into rap books, but I know rap books can offer you even production insurance. So when I get those projects, when I have to look into that stuff, I'm just going to go through rap books and kind of see what the options they're giving me. Uh, but as it is, it, when it's my own gigs and I'm producing the whole things, I'm just going to be going at daily insurance until it makes sense to sign up for a whole year. And I think I might just go with Athos, 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 which is the one that actually insures my gear. Now, this was my experience. I would love to hear from you guys. And if you guys have full on production insurance, how do you run it? Who do you run it with? And how does it really work with on your equipment, on your productions? Yeah. All right, guys, that's all I have for you guys today. And I'll see you on the next video.